Today on Inside OSU, I go one-on-one -on -one with men's head basketball coach, Mike Boynton. What drew you to the sport of basketball? Wow. Um, so, first of all, I have, I have four sisters. And the first thing that I was actually drawn to was getting out of the house. <laughs> um, but in New York City and Brooklyn specifically, basketball is everything. And um, I was just like most kids. I was looking for something to do that was fun. Uh, it kept me out of trouble. And, and basketball is where uh, I really found friends, um, had a lot of fun, and, and kind of stayed out of, out of harm's way. Uh, baseball was actually my first love, though. And, and it's still my favorite sport. Uh, but basketball was the sport that I found the most success in. What is your favorite basketball memory as either a coach or a player? I have so many good memories. I played the game since I was four years old and uh, played in some really competitive environments. I've traveled a lot of the globe uh, because of the game. Uh, I played in Madison Square Garden as a, as a high school player. Uh, I've been able to go to France. I played in Paris. Uh, so basketball has really you know, allowed me to, to learn geography uh, and uh, obviously develop great friendships. Uh, my experience as a player in college, which was my final uh, time playing the game, was nothing short of remarkable. I got to play in the NCAA tournament as a player. Uh, and then as a coach, just coaching here in this building uh, that's so historic that Coach Sutton and Mr. Iba also coached in, uh, really gives me a lot of pride to say that I'm a part of that legacy. What is the let's work mentality? Wow, it's probably a little deeper than most people think. Uh, I think most people fix their focus on the work part, which is a really, really big part of it. Um, I believe that hard work gives you a chance in life. Um, blue collar mentality, both of my parents were workers. Um, my dad you know, was the breadwinner, but my mom really, really implemented the my mindset of education being important and working hard in that area but really giving everything you can in every way possible to be your best. But the other part, the let's, is just as important because it's about community. It's about a group. It's about a team. Uh, and so for me, it's, it's L-E-T apostrophe S, let us, like all of us, let's do this together. Uh, I feel honored honestly, uh, to be, to have this job that I really don't feel like is a job. I feel like um, I've been really, really fortunate that you know, I'm, a, I'm a believer, um, a person of strong faith, and the, the good Lord has kind of directed me here and, and given me a mission to try to, you know, bring people together, uh, to try to be an encourager, to be an uplifter, and I try to live that out every day. And, being a part of this campus, seeing other young people grow up and trying to aspire to do great things, uh, it gives me great, great satisfaction. From Brooklyn, East Coaster, how would you compare your hometown to Stillwater? Everything starts and ends with people. Um, and the thing that I feel great about, about Stillwater, especially raising young children here, is that I think, like Brooklyn, I feel like people care about each other. You know, Brooklyn has this image in some ways, rightfully so, being this tough, rumble, you know, tough place to be, and it is. But the people really care about each other. Again, Stillwater has the same vibe. I feel very confident with my children being out in my neighborhood or walking around, you know, this town uh, and being safe uh, and being cared for and looked after. So, the the people here, although differently, are very, very similar to the people in Brooklyn, New York. You get to go back to Brooklyn this season, play a game. What are you most looking forward to about that trip? You know, just having our players uh, get a kind of a behind the curtains look at where I grew up and, and why I am the way I am. I say it all the time, Brooklyn literally made me who I am uh, because you have to be competitive. Uh, you have to have some toughness. Uh, you have to be driven and self-motivated. And you can, if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere, it's true. Uh, and that's why I, kid from Brooklyn can be all the way in Stillwater, Oklahoma and, and still find a way to enjoy life and, and have some level of success. 
I'm also an East Coaster, and I have my list of places I need to hit when I go home. Sure. What do you miss most about living in Brooklyn, and what are the places that you need to hit? Yeah, so th there's, a, there's a great pizza place called Not Ray's. It's about three blocks from my high school. I literally went there every single day after school before practice. I don't encourage my players to eat two slices of pizza and drink a Mountain Dew before practice, <laughs> but that's what I did as a 15-year-old. It worked out. It did. It worked just fine. Uh, it may be why I didn't become a pro player, but <laughs> I enjoyed it at the time. Uh, there's also Junior's Cheesecake, famous cheesecake place in Brooklyn that you know, many people know about, uh, but those are the two places that are staples for me. Is Junior's from Brooklyn? It is. There's one in Manhattan now. I've been to that one. I did not realize uh, it the originated. The original is right downtown Brooklyn. What's something that people might be surprised to learn about you? Uh, I'm sort of a nerd. Uh, I don't have any hobbies. Uh, I don't play golf. Um, I really like to read. Uh, I enjoy reading. I like to exercise. And I really just kind of like to stay home when I don't have to travel around the world. That's not a nerd, that's a homebody. When I tell my players about reading books, most of them look at me and say, eh, why would you do that? <laughs> why would you just read randomly on your own? I like to learn. Um, I'm a kind of a geography buff. I think it comes from having traveled so much. So I'm always asking people where they're from. And I usually have some sort of story, as, as we talked about earlier, right? Immediately, uh, um, steak place, cheese steak place comes to mind uh, when I think about Philly. Uh, or if I'm in South Carolina, I think about the mustard-based barbecue. Um, when I go to Texas, I think big, right, big servings. Uh, so I, I'm a geography w wizard. I see a connection between geography and food. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I enjoy finding a great place to eat wherever I go. You spoke a lot about your travels. Where is your favorite place you've ever traveled? Wow. Oh, man. My favorite place. I've been to so many cool places. I really enjoy Paris, even though I was only 12 years old when I went. Uh, it, it was just something iconic about going to the Eiffel Tower. Um, St. Lucia, I got married there. Uh, it's a great place to visit, beautiful. Um, been to Turks and Caicos, it's another really, really cool place. Aruba, I mean, I've been, I've been a lot of places, but uh, those would be some of my top ones. What about the most random place that you never expected to go? Well, I mean, if you recruit, you go to a lot of random places. You'd be surprised with how many times a really good basketball player comes from a place that you didn't know existed. Um, sort of random, but I never imagined that I would be in Stillwater living, you know. In fact, I joke with people all the time that I've been here now six years, uh, five as a head coach and one as an assistant. But seven years ago, if you just pulled out a map and tell me to point to Stillwater, I couldn't do it. <laughs> What's on your bucket list? Bucket list, wow. I don't really think in, in those terms, but on the spot, obviously I'd like to win a national championship. Um, it's really hard. Very few people have been national championship coaches. It would be a tremendous accomplishment. Um, but the thing I'm motivated by most is seeing the people who I'm a, I've been charged with helping become successful is watching them become successful. So that's what I wake up every day motivated to do is to pour into these kids and to try to be an example uh, to these young men of what success could look like for them. What's your biggest accomplishment, basketball or otherwise? My biggest accomplishment, I think, in life is that I, I made it to a place where I'm doing something I love every single day. And, and very few people get to do that. Like, I, I wake up every single day excited to go do my job. Um, and it's because I get to impact young people's lives. Um, I get great joy in that building, but not during basketball games. I get great joy when I watch the kids that I coach walk across the stage and shake the president's hand as graduates of this university. I know that that gives them a chance in life. Uh, because even the ones that are gonna go pro play professional basketball, won't do it as long as they think. And the, the education that they have and the experience that they've had in college will give them a chance to be successful people beyond their playing days.